Let's talk about something big happening at Prisma, something that has created a lot of buzz recently. And that is in our recent ORM manifesto, we announced a major shift in how Prisma's core logic is going to be managed. And in particular, how we're moving away from Rust and over towards TypeScript. And it's kind of a big deal. So today, why don't we break down what's changing, why we're doing it, and what it means for you as a developer. Before we dive into that though, it's worthwhile to take a look back, take a journey back to why Prisma chose Rust in the first place. And it's actually a bit of a fascinating story, and it starts back at Prisma 1, our original product back in 2018. So Prisma 1 had a completely different architecture. It consisted of two main parts. There was this Scala server that turned your database into a GraphQL CRUD API, and then there was a TypeScript client that communicated with that server. This worked fairly well, but there was one major friction point, which was that developers had to deploy and maintain the Prisma server as a separate infrastructure component. And they had to do it using Docker, which was not always the best experience. Then we get to 2019, and we realized that we were essentially competing with traditional ORMs. But this separate server deployment was holding us back in terms of developer experience. What we really needed was something that would make Prisma as easy to use as any other NPM package. And this is where Rust came in. When we started planning Prisma 2, which is now known as Prisma ORM, we had a fairly ambitious vision. We wanted to build ORMs for multiple different programming languages. So not just TypeScript, but also things like Go, Python, Scala, and others. And we needed a solution that would make adding support for those new languages relatively straightforward. The idea that we landed on was great because it was fairly simple. What if we could take the Prisma server functionality and just package it up as a downloadable binary instead of a separate server? The binary would just run alongside your application as a sidecar process, which would eliminate that deployment headache. And it turned out that Rust was the perfect language for this job. And that's because it's incredibly efficient at creating small, fast binaries that can easily be distributed. It's also got great memory safety guarantees, and that meant that we could build something robust that wouldn't cause issues across different platforms. And then finally, Rust has excellent tooling for cross-compilation, which means that we could build binaries for various operating systems relatively easily. So we essentially ported our Prisma 1 server from Scala over to Rust, creating what we now call the query engine. The engine would still handle the complex task of translating queries into SQL, but instead of running as a separate server, it would be downloaded automatically when you installed the Prisma client package. This architecture served us incredibly well for years. The Rust query engine took the complex GraphQL queries from the TypeScript client, translated them into efficient SQL, and handled all the heavy lifting of database interactions. It was fast, reliable, and it helped us maintain a clean separation between the query processing logic and the TypeScript interface that developers interacted with. However, the tech landscape has shifted and in a significant way since then. And there've been three major changes that have influenced our thinking in that time. First one is that, well, Rust is yes, incredibly fast. Passing data between JavaScript and Rust does come with overhead. There's no getting around that. Every translation takes time and adds complexity. By moving to TypeScript, we simplify that process and make Prisma ORM faster and lighter in modern JavaScript environments, particularly for serverless and edge computing. Second, our vision has evolved. Rather than expanding to multiple programming languages, we've seen TypeScript emerge as the clear winner for full stack development. This means we no longer need the language agnostic architecture that Rust has provided. Finally, we've seen the rise of innovative TypeScript first ORMs that showcase the power of modern TypeScript features for database interactions. This has shown us new possibilities for providing an excellent developer experience while staying lightweight and flexible. So now let's talk about what this transition means for you. The great news is that your experience with Prisma ORM won't really change much. In fact, things will get easier. For example, you won't need to worry about managing binary targets anymore. Everything will be included in the Prisma client package, making setup simpler than ever. This architecture also allows us to unlock new possibilities, like saving query plans for reuse or generating them at compile time, which could dramatically improve performance in your applications. Overall, we're really excited for this next chapter for Prisma ORM, and we'd love for you to get involved as well. You can join the discussion on GitHub, follow us on social media, and check out our past and future AMAs to stay informed. We're always open to feedback, and this change in particular is about making Prisma the best that it can be for everyone. Thanks for watching.